Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and today I want to make a video about sex and how natural sex is and how this culture has very typically led us and bred us to believe that sex is wrong often or is somehow dirty or bad in some way and also taught us to be ashamed and very self-conscious of our body unless maybe you grew up in a tribe and in which case you didn't have to cover your body all the time nor was any sex crime sexual deviancy or rape because you weren't taught to be energetically stuck up and blocked stuck and densified and clogged with false beliefs and shame regret suppression self-denial self-sex is wrong masturbation is wrong sex with other people is maybe wrong and just generally sex is like bad or dirty and that's not the case at all and nor is our private parts something to be ashamed of or embarrassed about or like thinking there's something wrong with us or our sexual parts or generally just that there's something wrong with our bodies which often the media um, in the modern world does portray a particular image about what is normal and what is perfect or beautiful and often these are magazines that have been um, paint shop edited to take away any blemishes or freckles or wrinkles or spots or anything like that at all and in truth the human body is naturally coming in different sizes generally women might have one boob a little bit bigger and smaller often maybe a testicle will be one bigger or smaller and um, often nearly always somebody's fingers and hand is bigger and stronger on their dominant side so if you're right-handed or right leg typically the parts on that side of your body will be just a little bit bigger you know and sometimes it's more than just a little bit you know sometimes women have one breast that's obviously bigger and one's obviously smaller and that's just natural and then um, in surveys women and men were surveyed about orgasms for example i was just like looking at and men will typically definitely find it easier to orgasm and orgasming is just a normal and natural thing basically all of us have had an orgasm if you're beyond the age of puberty where which is described as the sexual maturation or maturing of our genitals and sexual systems so nothing to be ashamed of about orgasm um, as I said we've all had an orgasm um, if you're of the, of the age nearly everybody of that age and females find it harder to orgasm and they generally need to be like more um, sexually feel safe and worked into it and they have a far higher orgasm rate if they're in a relationship with somebody that they know and like, feel comfortable and confident with Whereas one night stands or, you know, with a stranger, they'd be less able to relax and feel mentally and emotionally comfortable, which will affect the physical ability to climax or, or orgasm, as is the word. So, but I also want to say that men also have lower, <laughs> like it's the same way for men and women, except women have more. But the female um, chart that I was looking at, the graphs, it's men don't always orgasm either even though you might think that's the case so if you are a male or a female and you, sometimes you don't orgasm don't feel overly self-conscious or afraid that's okay and a lot of it, a very huge part has got to do with our mental and emotional state of comfort and relaxation and being ready and in the mood etc so um also, that to, just to get back to the societal conditioning, like males don't need to be all muscular because they're not all that way and we all are different. So don't worry about being overly self-conscious and it's only a very, very small percentage of people who have the stereotypical, what's called beautiful, or almost nobody actually, to be honest. And often these people who are trying to get this or the women in the magazines, they're probably maybe stressed or upset that they aren't the way they appear, have been shown to appear on the magazine. So there's a lot of um, emotional suffering and anxiety or even like depression or anger or self um, guilt etc regarding 
all sorts of things connected with the body, beautiful beauty, and also sex. So, so don't worry about yourself if you're not perfect, which doesn't even exist because we're all perfectly imperfect. Don't worry about that. And then uh, just you can soothe yourself with your thoughts and also understanding that not everybody is the same and it's normal and natural not only to have orgasms and sexual thoughts and feelings and desires and impulses but that it's also normal and natural that we can't orgasm under every condition like situation or circumstance and there will be times when we can't orgasm and that's fine this video isn't all about orgasms, of course. It's about the whole range of topic about how society is in this culture regarding sex and self-image and self-concept regarding sexuality, basically speaking. And being homosexual for a man or a, fem a, male, a man or a female, a male or a female, that's that's a normal part too. It's just a lesser percentage of the total population than half. So there's this. Most people are heterosexual and there's a smaller minority who are homosexual and that's fine, normal and natural and unfortunately society has shamed it and made it a disgrace but that's just fearful and controlling people in the majority who try to make it a public disgrace and it's not true in the slightest bit so don't worry about that and there's resources to learn and on the internet you can educate yourself with information on YouTube or else countless websites so, so that's all I really wanted to say really um, anything else I wanted to say just to enjoy your own sexual um, freedom liberty your own sexuality and use sex wisely carefully self lovingly um, as a way of expression and enjoyment um, It's, it's okay to really, really, really relax and enjoy, enjoy yourself and enjoy sex. Um, let go of suppression and fear and apprehension and let go and use sex responsibly and safely at the appropriate people, time or way, not to hurt or to belittle or control, but um, safely, responsibly, enjoyably and within balance. Too much sex can be overstimulating and tiring, especially for men. Um, ejaculation for men apparently uses up a lot of zinc, which is used as the primary mineral for, for the production of sperm, for example. And ejaculation for men and uses up a fair bit of life force energy. So some people replenish their sexual energy from thing energy practices like qigong. Some some men practice um, not not ejaculating but still having an orgasm. Um, one of my favorite teachers, Abraham, who um, they say, you know, just go for it, like, you know, your body will recover. <laughs> like, as in, don't bother, like, holding back ejaculation, but um, yeah, there are herbs that can help recover your, your um, spent energy, as well as the um, very high in zinc for replenishment of sperm. Um, I'm passionate about herbs as well as spirituality so if you feel like having a look at my website below you can see it I call it higher self herbs which really resonates with me and there my most popular product is Hoshu Wu and that's the number one herb even the root looks like a man and maybe you can see the, the nodule in the root which looks like a man head arms two legs and the genital area is a bump to in between the legs which is crazy so I hope this video has helped to make you feel more relaxed and um, accepting of your body. Accept yourself 100%, love yourself 100%. And uh, yeah, go forth and enjoy sex, even if it's, it's okay. So sex masturbation is 100% fine too, it's okay. Everything in life is all about the energy and how you do it. Not even the words you speak or the actions you take, but the energy and the feelings, the emotions behind what you do or say is to has the true and the most power so I felt pretty good and um, being self-aware I felt pretty good in this video I feel comfortable I'm, I'm not embarrassed not guilty not ashamed of my own body or sex I like sex everybody likes sex like it's one of the things of the human body so I just shared some things about like five ways to in, for a male to have a better orgasm on, on YouTube or on Facebook there 
I also just shared um, another video about um, how a woman can squirt, like ejaculate, you know, and it's just sex education. All of it is is like education and understanding and information about the human body. So zero percent shame, guilt, or embarrassment. Zero. No fear in sharing it on Facebook anyway. You know, just a smidgen of uh, self questioning. Is this okay? And then I got the inner confirmation. Of course, it's okay. All it is is like education about the body. It's just like talking about your arm or your leg. You know, penis, vagina. Millions, there's a lot of different parts to a male or female body, which I could talk about in another video. Let me know if you like this video, you want more videos on like real down to earth sacred sexuality and sacred spirituality. It's my passion, so I'm going to make them anyway, to be honest. Like, I like these topics, so I go with my heart and inspiration. But it'd be still nice to hear back from you. <laughs> so, it's been a pleasure to watch. Thanks for watching and I hope you're having a nice day. I wish you a lovely day and freedom of spirit, freedom of heart and freedom of sexuality. Okay, so, and remember, don't be reckless or dangerous or unsafe, but just to get informed. So, and remember, you can't catch a sexual disease unless it's already present in the other person. So, some people talk about you can get catch this or catch that. If it's not present already, you can't just catch it out of thin air. It has to be transmitted. So I can talk about more stuff, you know, just to educate because a lot of this thing isn't in the media at all. I learned nothing about sex in school and I was clueless. Didn't have my first girlfriend till I was like 21. <laughs> yeah. Didn't have sex for her until I was like past the teenage or I think anyway as well, you know, it wasn't it was pretty long compared to a few people. But no, no harm in that. So take care, God bless and uh, have, enjoy the day and enjoy your life and lots of love and peace and best wishes from me go forth and have a fantastic time in life and uh, yeah keep watching my videos get inspired like build yourself up confidence wise and wisdom and awareness and you'll have a great time in life so see you again take care love 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 bye